Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to take a look at the element cap and we're gonna take a look at the top 10 Pokemon you can build. Actually, it's more like the top 5 Pokemon for with charge moves that cost more than 10k and top 5 Pokemon with charge moves that cost only 10k. So we have like cheap Pokemon and more expensive Pokemon to build. And yeah, we're gonna take also a look at five teams you can build with those Pokemon I showcased here. And also we're gonna talk like a bit about honor mentions that I didn't have like in there yet. And first, we're going to talk about the reason why you should invest in this cap. So some people most likely think about, okay, why well, should I invest something into a cap that's only for two weeks available and basically will never come back afterwards and your Pokemon won't be usable in any other league, as the limit is 500 CP for this cap? And the answer is... I mean, there are like several answers. One of the answers might be that you don't have all the uh, legendary Pokemon for the Master League, as we're gon only going to have like Open Master League and Master League Classic as uh, other cups you can use during that time. And you really want to play during those two weeks, as we're going to have double Stardust for every reward there. So basically, for I mean, Ace and Veteran and like uh, all the buff there, you get, I think, for 3 2 in one set, then 7,000 Stardust. Plus, the first thing was like, I think, in total, like 9,000 Stardust for one set, which is like amazing. And that over two weeks. So, you kind of want to go try hard during that time to get the most amount of Stardust back from this. And because you earn so much Stardust anyway, it might be just usable for you to try to get like a good team somewhere and try to win as most po as most games as you can. And maybe that's not in Master League, as Master League is super expensive. And this is like basically the, the cheap alternative. But for Master League, of course, you can use the Pokemon in different cap as well then. Like just in general, like for raids and stuff like that. And you cannot really do that for this maybe. But what you can, uh, can look at are Pokemon that you might just want to use in the evolved form in like 1500 CP cups or 2500 like Ultra League or Great League and use them here as you can still get like good PvP IV and then use them in a later state when you evolve them. There are like several Pokemon that are useful for that. The top Pokemon won't be but you're gonna see that soon. And yeah, that's like basically the main reason why you should invest in this cap also because um, this cap gonna take way, way less time to get through your battles as Pokemon are not as bulky as in Master League. So you basically save some time as well if you play this cap instead of Master League. The first Pokemon we're gonna take a look at gonna be uh, Ducklet, of course. Ducklet, the number one Pokemon on P-Poke. Ducklet, basically the most Pokemon in this cup. If you have the starters and you really want to have like the best Pokemon, use Ducklet. Ducklet is just has nearly no answer to it. As you see, see here, like the best answers are kind of Slowpoke Growlithe, which is interesting, but only in the one shields, Bulbasaur and Chikorita. And Oddish, and I think against Chikorita, Bulbasaur and Oddish, you can win the two shields anyway because of the wing attack damage. There's basically nothing that can really threaten Ducklet too much other than one Pokemon, which we're gonna come to you next, most likely. And yeah, Ducklet just generally see like wins against Cottony, Vulpix, Tentacruel, like a lot of things. It's number one and like will like, it's just like so good. Like it's the best Pokemon you can have, I think. It's also like kind of bulky, but it's definitely not like a Bronzer, which just is not beatable. So I think it's going to be kind of interesting. I think they might have, should have maybe banned Ducklet, but Ducklet is definitely the best Pokemon in this cup. You're gonna need to invest on one if you really want to win like everything or whatever. It's just like the best Pokemon. It, it, there's not a lot of things you can counterplay there, sadly. So, just one of the best Pokemon you can invest in. Cost 50k for the second move, so a bit expensive, but definitely worth getting that. And if you like, see what Ducklet beats, it beats nearly everything. It only ties with uh, Chikorita and himself. And the best answer is Chincho, Slowpoke, and Slagma. And here Slugma is basically the only the only thing that Slugma really beats is Ducklet, so it's I wouldn't recommend you invest into it. the Slugma, but I like as a sleeper pick, maybe try to invest in Slowpoke. That's something that was just like an honorable mention here. Slowpoke has a lot of play with the confusion demos, so maybe there's something you might want to look into, but to the next Pokemon. The next Pokemon we're gonna talk about gonna be Chincho. As we kind of have uh, this Pokemon here is the hardest check to Ducklet. Ducklet just completely gets wrecked by this. We resist every move there. We have Spark, Thunderbolt, and Bubble Beam as a moveset, which is super solid. And I would recommend you also invest into this, as it's like the hardest Ducklet counter. I would expect that Ducklet plus Chinchou in the back gonna be the most used backline in this meta here. It's gonna be a really ABB 
matter in general. You're gonna see that later on as well. And yeah, Chinchero beats fire types, beat all the gra uh, water types there, and only gets like threatened by grass types. So beats two out of the three main <laughs> types in this meta. So really, really strong Pokemon there. And highly recommend you invest in this. And if you look like in the the table, which is the thing gonna beat, like it only basically loses against grass types like Cottony, Bulbasaur, Chikorita, and yeah, all the slow tail Wooper. Wooper gonna be really interesting because Wooper also can uh, counter as Chinichiro as well. Wooper kind of also uh, honorable mention there, but I also didn't include here as it needs 50k for the second move and I don't think it's really worth it unless you want to have a crack side for Great League or something like that, then you could maybe invest into Wooper. I don't even know if it's eligible then and maybe it's uh, too high of a level if you invest into a Wooper, so it might not even be. Okay, for great for a great league Rexire. The next Pokemon now gonna be a Growlithe, especially Shadow Growlithe, which is like way better than the normal one. What you can also use in this mod, I didn't include it here, but it's like basically the same Pokemon as Volpix. So if you have a Shadow Volpix, which you want to use anywhere, like as a Nine Tails in Great League or an Ultra League, maybe just use it right now in this league, power it up a bit. So it reaches the 500 CP and then you use it later in either Great League or Ultra League. I don't know if it's still available for Great League then or if it's like too high of a level. I think it should be still available for Great League. But yeah, just like look at see at the AVs you might want to use in Ultra League or Great League. Power it up for this league here and then use it here. I already powered up my Growlithe because I have a cool Shadow one which I'm gonna use. And yeah, both basically have Ember and Body Slam. Here you have Flamethrower, the Vulpix has um, the Weather Ball Fire, which is even better. But the Vulpix doesn't have the better um, stats in general, like Growlithe kind of hits her a bit harder, which is why Growlithe is a bit higher, and which I'm also using. And yeah, this thing kind of wrecks all the grass types in the league, which is super solid. And the cool thing about like Ember Fire type user right now is that Ember got buffed and like the damage of this alone can hit like so hard that it even threatens water types like Ducklet right now, as you can see. There are not a lot of like water types right now that actually uses water types, uh, water type moves. So Fire is really, really strong in this meta, so I can highly recommend you using either Vulpix here in Shadow or Growlithe here in Shadow. 50k for the second move, let's, let's, let's take a look at the um, table, what it's gonna beat, and you're gonna see here, like it beats Ducklet on the one shield, like all the grass types gonna kinda dive to that. And yeah, of course water types are kinda difficult to deal with, but I think you actually might win against some depending on the energy you have and yeah they want to basically shield your body stems anyway as your shadow and yeah definitely a real solid pokemon to invest in and the next pokemon we're gonna have gonna be seal uh, yes seal you might already have that still with 500 cp from the last cup we had where seal was actually super solid you used it there with lake right now it's better with ice shard and the cool thing about seal is that a super solid state swap unless your opponent has chinchu on the back you can do a damage against everything because of Ice Shard and Icy Wind and you can actually even beat most of the grass types if you have like some energy advantage and like maybe shield twice because the Ice Shard damage is like so nice and the moveset in general also having access to Aqua Tail is super solid so if you haven't invested in one yet this might be also something you kind of want to take a look at. He thinks that uh, seal actually beats doesn't really look that good, but most of the things that it can actually beat in two shields, like Ducklet and I think also a lot of the grass types, so it definitely kind of worth to invest in if you haven't done that yet. The last kind of expensive Pokemon gonna be Paris, as Paris is kind of interesting, it's like rank 26 right now. It has access to Backbite, Cross Poison and Seed Bomb, like super fast quick uh, charge moves there you can get. Cross Poison got buffed anyway, so you can basically also higher your attack there, and Backbite is a one turn move which is super super solid. And if you can like look at the Pokemon it beats, you're gonna see that it beats like all the grass types which is super cool, and also most of the water types, as you're gonna be able to get to the Seed Bomb kind of easily so it beats basically two out of the three types there but you have to keep in mind that Ducklet basically uses wing attack and which is a flying type move which is double super effective against it so you can also use the waddle by the way which is kind of similar and yeah that's gonna be it for the 50k unlock charge move mods. Now we're gonna take a look at the super cheap Pokemon you can also invest in because I only need 10k for the second charge move which is Bulbasaur for example 
rated rank 4 here, having access to Wine Whip, Seed Bomb and Sludge Bomb is like a super sword moveset, gets to the Seed Bomb super fast, has Sludge Bomb as a coverage for all the grass types, and basically also can be Dark Light and stuff like that, it's like super solid Pokemon, only needs 10k for the second move, let me see what it actually beats here, beats Courtney, beats like all the grass types, beats all the water types, having the double um, typing there with grass and poison really benefits them here as it beats two out of the three types again, which is super solid. The next Pokemon we're going to take a look at is going to be Cottony, as Cottony actually only needs 10k for the second charge move, and you don't even always need that, you can also just like run Seed Bomb alone, because you have Charm and you're only really going to get to the Seed Bomb anyway, so you don't really need the Grass Knot if you want to unlock it, but you can then, because it's only 10k, and it's like really really solid as it's going to beat like most of the Grass types and the Water types. The only real problem is their Bulbasaur again because of the poison typing, but other than that, like you can charm a lot do through a lot of things here. As you're gonna have nearly no steel type in there, it's only like one that's available, which is Feral Seed. And Feral Seed has like weak really garbage quick moves and charge moves, so most people won't gonna invest into that anyway. So you basically you're nearly free to go through everything here with the Cotney and Charm. I think you can also like beat Ducklet and the two shield with it. So Courtney gonna be a super solid investment, maybe you already have that from the last time it was there like in the normal little cup anyway, so definitely super solid in the new meta as well. Next Pokemon we're gonna talk about is gonna be Tepic, as this thing is actually super funny, as it's kind of basically like Growlithe and Vulpix, a bit worse, but you only need 10k for the second charge move, and you're gonna have the C-Day soon anyway, so if you have like one already, which you're gonna want to build with a C-Day move for Ultra League or Great League, even though it's not gonna be as good, sadly, um, you can just use that right now, power it up to 500 CP, give it a second charge move, and see how it's gonna be in this cup, as it's actually not as bad as you can kind of counter the grass types again. It's not as good as Growlers or uh, Vulpix in Shadow, but it's definitely way cheaper and definitely can do some more work here as well. Gonna be super funny to use maybe like a double fire team with it. Next up, we're gonna have another grass type starter, which gonna be Chikorita, as we're gonna have access to Body Slam here with the Wine Whip and Grass Knot. And 10k again for the second charge move here. And it's super solid again, as we have like super fast Body Slams and Grass Knot also gonna hit with Stealth then really hard. I wouldn't invest in it if you have like Bulbasaur, which you can rather invest in it, because I think Bulbasaur is going to be a bit better, but Chikorita is a little bit bulkier I think than Bulbasaur, and has some pressure with Body Slam as well, so it's a super solid Pokemon to invest in, it's like really high, highly ranked, you can actually win against Ducklet in the one shield, which is cool, and you will beat something like Chinshu, Seal, all the water types, and it's actually a super solid Pokemon to use, and you don't have like, for example, the effect of the poison typing Slowpoke, which is good, as Slowpoke is already a sleeper pick that you might actually also want to invest in. So, Super Solid Pokemon, only 10k for the second charge move. The last Pokemon with only 10k for the second charge move gonna be Barbroach. It's basically the best water type that you have with like only 10k for the second charge move, everything else is a bit higher as all the stars are garbage. And um, you have like Slow Timpel, which is also I think 10k for the second which is better than Barbooch a bit, but I think people kind of ranked it working here as it says Mud Shot, Mud Bomb, Alka Tail, but you don't really need the Alka Tail like for what do you need that? You have Mud Bomb for the fire types already, you don't need Alka Tail at all. You need to also have Mud Bomb as the coverage for water types, but Barbooch can also learn Ice Beam, which might catch some people off guard as Ice Beam is gonna be super strong against all the grass type Pokemon here. So maybe if you get like some energy lead, you can get to an Ice Beam against the grass type and surprise them and actually one shot them or do like a lot of damage. So I think Barbooch has like some play, but don't run Alcratel, run Ice Beam here. I think that's why we're better, but P Poke doesn't really show that in the rankings, so. It's really sad, but I think that's a better moveset for Barboach and gonna be really easy to get for you as it's only cost you 10k for the second charge move again. And now let's go into the top 5 teams that we can build with us Pokemon. For team 1, we're gonna have a really meta team with Growlithe, Chinchou, and Ducklet. And yeah, of course, you can use like Vulpix instead of that, or the Tepic instead of that as well, instead of the Growlithe. But Growlithe is definitely the better option here, and you can see like the only real problem for this team might be a Chincho, but you can actually deal with it as well with the Growlithe, as Chincho only has access to Thunderbolt and Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam doesn't do as much damage, and Spark is also like neutral there. But other than that, like it's super solid there, it can deal with a lot of stuff. You have Ducklet as a super sick safe swap there, and 
yeah, Alves is a super good team. You can also use something like a grass type in the lead there as well. If you want to run that, maybe Bulbasaur would shoot you super good. And yeah, Ducklet as I say, so super solid. Chincho is super solid if like your opponent swaps in a Ducklet or like in a different water type into your Growlithe. If you wouldn't lead, you can just like hard counter with Chincho or farm it down. I think that seems super solid to play. That's like super meta and kind of expensive to build, but should be fine. The second team we have gonna be Bulbasaur, Seal and Ducklet again. This time around we have Ducklet as the closer as Ducklet only really have Chincho as the thing he does not want to see. And the main goal with this team is basically have Bulbasaur in the lead. You could also do use the Chikorita in the lead there. And have Seal and Ducklet like Seal as a safe swap, Ducklet in the back there. With Seal, you, if you lose the lead, you can and like feel into the fire type maybe if your opponent has that which is most likely where you lose the lead and then if you get out the chin shout basically your backlight can run freely in the back there so you, the goal here is to try to sweep in the end with the backlight as you get the counter out with the seal size swap and finish off the counter which is chin Shao with the bulbasaur and maybe get like some shields in there already so you can brave but whatever it is in the back there so this is basically how this team kind of wants to work. If you want lead, of course, it's even better. But yeah, main goal here, either get like switch and match back with Seal, because Seal wins a lot of things in their two shields, or like just get the hard counter out of the way for your Daglet so you can sweep in the end. If your opponent swaps in uh, Chin Shao against your Seal, you can just farm down with the Bulbasaur, as Chin Shao doesn't do anything against the Bulbasaur, because every move are, is resisted there, and you're most likely gonna get a debuff there anyway before with a Seal. So. I think it's a super solid line, I really enjoy this line, should be really solid, maybe I'm also going to showcase this line on this channel. The next team we're going to take a look at is going to be Chin Shao Lead, double fire in the back, as we can actually get like shields against Dark Dead and stuff like that if we switch in a uh, fire type, and Chin Shao's only really weakness there is going to be the grass type, so having two coverages in the back for that is going to be really sick. I don't know if you want to use Growlithe or Tavik as a safe swap, I think both are kind of similar and fine. I think Growlithe might be a bit better as you can pressure Ducklet way more than with Tavik. And Tavik also I think has access to Flame Charge if I'm not completely wrong there. So you might be able to sweep in the back with charging up your Ember already. So I think this is a super solid team there, Chin Shao in the lead, something you're barely gonna see. And I think a lot of people are gonna run Ducklet in the lead as it's gonna be the best Pokemon and people don't know what to run else. So this might be something you kind of want to take a look at. Wooper going to be like really difficult to beat this uh, to beat with this team. Also like uh, the Barbo which we already showcased is going to be really difficult to beat with this team as it's going to beat everything on this team here. But it's only like one Pokemon and most of the time you can play around a bit with that as it's not going to take like a lot of emerge from a Shadow Growlithe anyway. So maybe even go into the two shield there and maybe get like some damage on that already. I have to see. But it's a bit weak too of course those Mud Boys but I don't think you're going to see as many Mud Boys as they are going to are really weak to Ducklet which is like super common. Cotney, Bulbasaur, Chikorita you basically see the first three they all going to lose against that. So I don't think we're going to see a lot of Wooper or Barboge anyway. As the fourth team we are, we're gonna see Cottony, Seal and Growler Shadow. And because we already had like so many ABB lines, I kinda wanted to see if we can like like an ABC line, like something like a bit different there, which might catch some people off guard. And Cottony, Seal and Growlith I think have like really really cool um, synergy with each other. As you're gonna be able to even counter out the Bulbasaur with the Seal of Ice Shard and Growlithe in general. And against Ducklet, you can win the two shields with Cottony and Seal against it. And yeah, you have a lot of play there. Like if you have like something where Cottony is really weak to it, you have basically two good answers in the back. As you have like fire types which are really good against Cottony, you have Seal there, and Growlithe is also like the best fire type, so it's gonna beat all the other fire types as well. I think that's a super solid team that's not like ABB. So something that you also might want to take a look at and i think it's also a super solid team you could use cottony in general going to be super good with if you can keep like two shields for that or same with growler this you can just like it's like a really quick move heavy team here as you have charm you have amber which is boosted by shadow and like has a lot of um, damage output anyway and you have seal with the ice shot which is also like a move that does a lot of damage as the last team we're gonna have paris chinchow and seal which is also a really fun team to use and Cottony seems to be a loss here for Paris but actually you have Cross Poison which a lot of people don't know and you're gonna win if you can hit that and yeah you have Seal as a safe swap here and we have Chin Shao in the back again 
And this team is again a BB line. Paris kind of don't want to face fire types and not the Ducklet. And you can counter both of them with their seal and the Chinchou. So you're really, really good against those Pokemon there. And in general, like with the Paris on the lead you and the seal as a safe stop, you're always going to get out the grass type because I don't want to face the Paris there. You have the ice coverage on the seal to actually threaten them. And you don't really want to face them with the Chinchou. So I think that's actually one of the best teams you can run there. As it has like super cool synergy and super cool Pokemon to use. You can use Seawaddle again as well in the lead and stuff like that. But yeah, I really enjoy like this team. You could also most likely use the Bulbas on the lead or something like that. Well, this team looks like a lot of fun to use. So maybe I'm going to showcase this as well. But this is going to be it for the teams. I hope this video might help you a bit with the new cap coming up. And uh, this was a lot of work to do this video with all the graphics and stuff like that. So I would appreciate if you haven't stopped already, if you would subscribe and leave a like. Also, do you want to play more Masters or the Element Cup? Let me know in the comment section. I'm definitely going to showcase both of the cups there. I'm going to take a look again at Master Classic here as well. But first, I'm definitely going to showcase some stuff for the Element Cup. I think it's more while before most people that don't have like a lot of Stardust and a lot of resources from raids. So I think this is also a really fun cup you might want to take a look at. And that's going to be it for this video. And I hope I see you in the next video. And I hope I'm going to see you also in the videos for this cap in general and for master league as well i hope you're gonna have a great rest of your day and see you in the next video